The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of Exodus. Moses was looking after the flock of his father-in-law Jethro, the priest of Midian. He led it to the far side of the desert and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. The angel of Yahweh appeared to him in a flame blazing from the middle of a bush. Moses looked. There was the bush blazing, but the bush was not being burnt up. Moses said, I must go across and see this strange sight and why the bush is not being burnt up. When Yahweh saw him going across to look, God called to him from the middle of the bush. Moses, Moses, he said. Here I am, he answered. Come no nearer, he said. Take off your sandals, for the place where you are standing is holy ground. I am the God of your ancestors, he said. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. At this, Moses covered his face, for he was afraid to look at God. Yes, indeed, the Israelites' cry for help has reached me, and I've also seen the cruel way in which the Egyptians are oppressing them. So now I'm sending you to Pharaoh, for you to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. Moses said to God, Who am I to go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? I shall be with you, God said, and this is the sign by which you will know that I was the one who sent you. After you have led the people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this mountain. And our response from Psalm 103. Bless Yahweh, my soul, from the depths of my being, his holy name. Bless Yahweh, my soul. Never forget all his acts of kindness. He forgives all your offenses, cures all your diseases. He redeems your life from the abyss. He crowns you with faithful love and tenderness. He contents you with good things all your life, renews your youth like an eagle. Yahweh acts with uprightness, with justice to all who are oppressed. He revealed to Moses his ways and his great deeds to the children of Israel. In a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and of earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to little children. Yes, Father, for that is what it pleased you to do. Everything has been entrusted to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, just as no one knows the Father except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal Him the gospel of the Lord.